Once the sky stopped behaving the way it was supposed to, the ground was next. For centuries, motion was explained by authority. Objects fell because that was their nature. Heavier things moved differently than lighter ones. Rest was normal. Motion needed explanation. Then people started measuring motion instead of describing it. What they found was uncomfortable. Objects didn't move because of purpose or essence, they moved because of forces. Experiments with ramps, weights, pendulums, and projectiles showed patterns that could be written down mathematically. Speed, distance, and time could be calculated. That was new. Motion wasn't philosophical anymore. It was numerical. This changed everything. If motion followed rules, then the universe wasn't guided by intention. It was governed by laws. And laws don't care who you are. Falling objects behave the same way every time. Projectiles followed predictable paths. The same equations worked in different places for different people. Reality became consistent. That consistency mattered more than any single discovery. Because once physics worked, it worked everywhere. Artillery could be aimed accurately. Bridges could be designed safely. Machines could be improved deliberately. Knowledge stopped being descriptive. It became predictive. And prediction is power. This way of thinking spread fast because it was useful. Governments wanted better weapons. Merchants wanted better machines. Engineers wanted structures that didn't collapse. Physics delivered results, but it also delivered a shock. If the physical world followed universal laws, then it didn't need constant explanation from tradition, scripture, or ancient texts. The universe wasn't arbitrary. It was legible. That idea quietly undermined centuries of thinking. Because if nature could be understood through math and experiment, then truth wasn't inherited, it was discovered. And once people accepted that, they applied it everywhere. To chemistry, to biology, to engineering, even to society itself. But physics also raised a new question. If everything followed laws and who wrote them, that question pushed thinkers in different directions. Some toward faith, some toward philosophy, some toward radical new ideas about knowledge itself. In the next episode, we'll look at how the scientific method emerged and why how people learned became more important than what they believed. If you enjoyed this trip down the rabbit hole, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Smart History for Dumb Times.